we're here in the Wanda studio at Arabnet with Mohammed Mekki of the newly launched Namchi, which is a e-commerce portal selling shoes and bags and a lot of cool things. Mohammed, how are you? Doing well, thanks. You're enjoying Arabnet? Indeed. No, it's really great to be in uh, such an environment with a lot of uh, passionate people uh, who really want to build the next generation of e-commerce and uh, just online companies. Did you attend the industry days? No, I didn't. I actually came in from Dubai uh, just last night. But uh, so far what I've seen has been uh, really energizing. Cool. Um, so let's talk about, so Namshi is, you know, some people could say it's a, it's a model that exists. E-commerce has been done around the world and even in the region. How are you differentiating yourself? Sure. So from our perspective, uh, a pure fashion e-commerce website, the way that we're doing it, doesn't really exist here to serve this market. Uh, some other sites are flash sales type sites, buying clubs that, that bring some fashion to the table, but it's a limited selection and it's for a deep discount. Uh, what we've been doing is really building up our own inventory of a wide range of different brands from around the world and uh, really differentiating ourselves on two points, selection and convenience. So we ship to the entire GCC and Egypt for free, uh, and we offer brands that aren't available in this market, and ranges of sizes, ranges of styles that are really not available otherwise in the marketplace. I see. So do you feel like you're a, a first mover in that space? Yeah, very much so. Uh, currently, the uh, alternatives are to purchase something from Europe or from the United States, um, or to pick a, a player that's in the in the region that just doesn't have the same kind of uh, selection or focus as we do. Uh, both of which aren't the perfect uh, situation for uh, for a customer who's looking for uh, for fashion. I seen you uh, soft launched a few weeks ago. What kind of growth have you seen since then? So uh, the team came together in about October and we were uh, quickly able to get online by the end of the year. And then, so within the last few months, we've done quite a bit, right? So we've, we started just in the UAE. Uh, about a month and a half ago, we expanded to the GCC and then we soft launched in Egypt about uh, two weeks ago. Um, all along the way, we've been seeing steady growth and, and really excitement from the market. Uh, from everywhere, from the, the farthest reaches of, of Saudi Arabia and Oman and other places that aren't really served by a major mall or alternative, um, to people who normally, who live in, for instance, Dubai, or they live in Riyadh, and maybe they're buying from Europe uh, normally, but really are enjoying the, the type of selection and the kind of uh, proposition that we're bringing here in this marketplace. So it's a wide range of different type of, of customers. Uh, one, I, I love to tell a story about one of our uh, customers who called me first. I, I was actually manning the phones um, for the uh, customer service before we were really expanding, and I, because I love interacting with uh, with customers. And she was an old lady named um, Um Hamdan from Ras Al Khema, one of the smaller Emirates, and she had somehow stumbled upon the uh, our website through a Google or Facebook kind of uh, a search and got into a product page and wanted that product but had no idea what e-commerce was, had no idea how to get it. So called us and I actually walked her through step by step on how to purchase and now it's um, every single week we see an order come in from Um Hamdan and Ras Al Khaimah and it's become one of our loyal customers. So we have that type of a profile of people who just have never been exposed to e-commerce before uh, all the way through to the uh, really proficient and, uh, and veteran users who've been using European uh, uh, kind of uh, sites instead. Do you have to do a lot of that now with your customer service, you know, yeah. training people? Yeah, so it, it, the, the, the interesting uh, uh, point, we're always learning so much about the market, right? From, from what's selling to then, what are our customers' concerns? So actually, one of the most interesting points about customer service is the number one question that we get, both in our call center and on our Facebook page from, from people across the region, uh, isn't about the technicalities, right? It's the number one question is, where is your store in, and then name the city. So whether it's in Doha or something small in, in, in Saudia, uh, people are still not fully grasping the fact of what an e-commerce uh, player does, and that we actually ship for free, and that the, the experience is, is, an, is, is one of an e-commerce experience. Right? So there's a lot of education that really needs to happen, and we're doing our best to bring that as well to the market. 
And where are the majority of your users from right now? So since we launched in the UAE and, and spent quite a bit of our time and effort uh, in, the, in the beginning phase uh, creating awareness in that, in that market, it still remains our top market. But we're seeing the growth rates of markets like Saudi and Egypt uh, quickly, quickly moving faster. Uh, and that's, that's a function of a couple of things. One is the size of the markets, and, and, and then the second is really the, the other alternatives that are available within those markets. So we've been, uh, the, the indicators are really positive in terms of the growth potential in, these, in, the, in the newer markets that we're serving. So we expect those to supersede actually the UAE uh, in, in, the, in the coming months. Makes sense. Yep. And is finding talent difficult for you when you're hiring? Talent is actually, and, and people development is one of our passions as founders. Uh, Louis, Hassam, and myself are the co-founders of, of Nemshi. Uh, way back in the beginning, sat around the table and said, besides building an amazing company that really fills a gap in this market that doesn't exist, we want to be the, the team and the, the company that, that develops the next generation of entrepreneurs uh, within, the, within the region. So actually I'm here in, in Beirut with my partner Louis and one of our big priorities besides being here and, and participating in ArabNet is to uh, interview and recruit people. So all day tomorrow basically we're tag teaming uh, recruiting AUB candidates uh, to come into Dubai. We've all Already brought in people from there. We have we have people from the top business schools in the U.S. like Harvard and Wharton who, who have agreed to come on and and, and join our uh, our team. So finding there is a lot of talent, right? Uh, it's it's a matter of really dedicating the amount of time to be able to to reach out to them to t to, to tell them about the potential of the market and then to create a nurturing environment that really supports them. Um. Great, so you guys are creating a little ecosystem. Yeah, exactly. So that's one of our, I guess, our man, like our personal mandates. We really want to create uh, a people development company as well. I see, and so now I have to ask, you know, you are a Rocket Internet company. Yeah. And Rocket is known for being a bit controversial just because of their aggressive tactics. They take a known and tested model and enter a new market and just, you know, aggressively tackle that market. Um, whether it's a good or bad thing for the region, maybe it's a good thing. Um, but in terms of, you know, another element of the controversy is that people say sometimes they offer terms that are not so great for the entrepreneur in terms of the equity that they take. Uh, what would you say to that? So the opportunity that uh, we have gotten here in, in this market is, is an unprecedented one. Uh, there's, there's no, uh, no doubt that Rocket Internet has a global reputation of being quite aggressive and, and, and viewing uh, each investment as one that is uh, very important and has high expectations for. But that's just energized us as a team. So we know that the market has a lot to give and we are in a position and have investors that are, that are pushing us toward making sure that we fully realize that. Uh, so the kind of experience that at least as an entrepreneur uh, who is part of a rocket business, as I've gotten even over the last six months, um, is, is a very, if you will, accelerated uh, uh, entrepreneurial experience. And the kind of learnings that we've all gotten from this has been incredible. And really it takes, especially for a fashion business, you need to have that kind of a dedication to the market. You need to, be, you need to make the investment necessary to build up a warehouse product and to, to be able to serve the market in the right way. And Rocket has made that commitment to the region. I see. And when it comes to this investment, um, when did you take on investment? So uh, the three of us joined uh, this, uh, this project back in, uh, in October. The, the ambitions are large, and uh, we're building up our own inventory, we're building up our own highly talented team, uh, and so the, the, the investment is behind, the investment money is behind that, that kind of a vision, really not just to become a small player, but really to be a, a dominant player within the market. So what's next for you? Where are you expanding next? In terms of What's next? There's so much to do, really. I mean, um, it's really exciting because uh, one of the things that we see as uh, an immediate next step is to launch uh, fully Arabized content. So everything we have will be in Arabic. And then also to create uh, storefronts for each country we operate in. So we have individual sites, for instance, for Saudi, in Saudi Riyadh. Uh, local currency across all the different countries uh, where we're uh, operating and uh, and then keep stepping up our uh, our marketing and our customer service right so these are those are a few of the things that are coming uh, very soon 
and some new markets perhaps. Just keep your eyes open. All right, we will. We'll stay tuned on Wanda. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for chatting with us. Appreciate it.